two different cars end up colliding with two different bright line trains at the same exact crossing within just days of each other. And now federal investigators are taking a hard look at that crossing and the trains that use it. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Ank and glad you're with us tonight on this Saturday. Both crashes were right here along WH Jackson Street in Melbourne. Now the first crash was Wednesday afternoon. The other was just last night. New Six's Brian Didlake was there when crews were still picking up the pieces. NTSB will be here for the next several days to learn more about what happened with both crashes earlier this week. In fact, you can still see debris from one of those crashes here at the scene. This comes as we learn more about passengers killed in Friday's crash. Crashes two days apart at the same railroad crossing here in Melbourne. I'd start by saying, you know, if the arm is down, don't go around. Melbourne Mayor Paul Alfrey at the scene Friday after a vehicle was hit by a bright line train. Surveillance video from a nearby business shows what happened. We stopped the video before impact, but just two days earlier, a separate deadly crash happened at the same exact crossing. There's no good outcome with a train and this is an unfortunate situation. We have a loss of life again and there's safety precautions for a reason and people need to adhere to those. The National Transportation Safety Board released a statement reading in part, investigators will work to better understand the safety issues at this crossing and will examine opportunities to prevent or mitigate these crashes in the future. 52-year-old Lisa Bachelder and 54-year-old Michael DeGasperi were killed in Friday's crash. Mayor Paul Alfrey posted he'll be launching a public safety education campaign. I hope it's not a new normal because it taxes us a lot with our public safety employees. We're here instead of answering vital calls. So I definitely hope it's not a new normal, but we're definitely going to push out a public safety campaign and try to educate our residents. A Melbourne police say in both deadly crashes, Brightline was not found at fault. The NTSB says a final report of their findings here will be issued in the next 12 to 24 months. We're here in Melbourne. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.